Hey there. Well, I haven't done a medical uh, update in a while, so now that I've got something to say, I thought I'd do one, even though it is probably going to be fairly short. Um, yeah, so I think I mentioned in the last one of these I did that I've been I've been seeing a new neurologist, and um, she's referred me to an orthotist, which basically is a person that evaluates uh, the disability and makes a um, oh what do they call it like a. What do they call it? Like a preparation, like a um, an appliance. They make appliances for um, for people with disabilities, basically. So I I went to that, and um, they had a look at it and everything. Casted my feet. Among other, or cast my feet rather. Is it cast or casted? I can never remember. And um, among other things, of course. And they gave me some exercises to do. The physio gave me some exercises, which uh, ones that I've had before, and which one you know, which don't work for my feet. Uh, they just swelled them up and or swelled them up. And, um, yeah, I couldn't walk for a couple of days again, which is, that's not going to work for me. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to have to abandon that part of it, at least for now. Probably, um, in the future, you know, physio will be useful, just not yet. Um... So there's that, but I've also been referred to another neurologist who I saw uh, last week. Again, it was another um, neuro rehab, new uh, neurological rehabilitation um, neurologist, and I actually got somewhere. I've got a bit of a diagnosis now, probably as close to a diagnosis as I'm going to get. And, um, yeah, a little bit of a treatment plan as well, which is good. So, in the first instance, it's going to be Botox um, into the, the toe especially. And I think into another part of my foot as well. It's to paralyze the muscles and correct the gait a little bit. And... Um, Botox is handy because they can actually position your foot how they want it, then inject it. And um, apparently that's meant to help. I haven't had it done yet, so I don't know, but I would hope so. Um, after that, it's probably going to be a splint, and I might, some sort of an orthotic, you know, splint, like a. Um, what they call an AFO, maybe, which is an ankle foot orthotic, which straps onto your lower leg and goes under your foot. Um, so, yeah, there's that. And I might be able to get down to one crutch, which would be good. Um, yeah, so that would be good if... If that was possible. Um, while obviously I feel I feel good about this, you know, I've got a diagnosis, I've got a bit of a treatment plan, blah blah blah. I do wonder why my last neurologist, who's also a neuro rehab specialist, was against the use of Botox. She said that, um, you know, she didn't know what the goal would be for for using Botox, but this guy is kind of all about it. And I guess, you know, the only thing I can think logically 
is that he's a more specialist specialist if you like he's more um what's the word not interested but more used to dealing with this kind of um disability and um yeah i don't know if i mentioned it the the diagnosis i've got is uh, progressive spastic paraparesis with caused by a spontaneous genetic mutation so it's kind of like um hereditary spastic paraplegia or hsp without the h which uh, stands for hereditary obviously because it's not a hereditary condition from um, from what he said or it might be but there's a lot of genes they can't test for apparently so it could be one of those but anyway that's the the diagnosis i've got thus far okay well that's the update really i hope everybody's doing well um this new omicron variant isn't going to be a a great deal of fun i wouldn't have thought but you know there it is at least it's apparently not as bad as the um the delta variant or so they think thus far but apparently it's more infectious i had my um my booster injection this week for the winter um that seemed to go all right i was Somebody let me jump the queue, basically, and I was wheeled through in a wheelchair, which was an interesting experience. I mean, it's the first time I've ever been in one, so I guess it was weird. But it's just about, I think, it's just about getting comfortable with the discomfort, because it is an inherently uncomfortable situation unfortunately so the point is just not to compound it by worrying about feeling uncomfortable i guess but um yeah and of course it's christmas which i know can be a a very hard time of year for people i mean it certainly is for me uh mentally um, especially if you've you've lost loved ones, members of the family. Um, I lost my grandmother this year, and the um, the funeral is on Christmas Eve of all things. So, so I can certainly empathise with people who find this to be a difficult time of year. Um, all I can say really is that this time will pass and we can, must and will endure it. And as always, and with all of the above being said, um, please like, share, comment, subscribe and all that other good stuff. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.